In particle physics, CP violation is a violation of CP symmetry or charge conjugation parity symmetry, the combination of C symmetry, charge conjugation symmetry, and P symmetry, parity symmetry. CP symmetry states that the laws of physics should be the same if a particle is interchanged with its antiparticle C symmetry, while its spatial coordinates are inverted, mirror, or P symmetry. The discovery of CP violation in 1964 in the decays of neutral kaons resulted in the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1980 for its discoverers James Cronin and Val Fitch. It plays an important role both in the attempts of cosmology to explain the dominance of matter over antimatter in the present universe, and in the study of weak interactions in particle physics. <laughs> CP symmetry. CP symmetry, often called just CP, is the product of two symmetries, C for charge conjugation, which transforms a particle into its antiparticle, and P for parity, which creates the mirror image of a physical system. The strong interaction and electromagnetic interaction seem to be invariant under the combined CP transformation operation, but this symmetry is slightly violated during certain types of weak decay. Historically, CP symmetry was proposed to restore order after the discovery of parity violation in the 1950s. The idea behind parity symmetry is that the equations of particle physics are invariant under mirror inversion. This leads to the prediction that the mirror image of a reaction, such as a chemical reaction or radioactive decay, occurs at the same rate as the original reaction. Parity symmetry appears to be valid for all reactions involving electromagnetism and strong interactions. Until 1956, parity conservation was believed to be one of the fundamental geometric conservation laws along with conservation of energy and conservation of momentum. However, in 1956 a careful critical review of the existing experimental data by theoretical physicists Sung Dao Li and Chen Ning Yang revealed that while parity conservation had been verified in decays by the strong or electromagnetic interactions, it was untested in the weak interaction. They proposed several possible direct experimental tests. The first test based on beta decay of cobalt-60 nuclei was carried out in 1956 by a group led by Qian Xiong Wu, and demonstrated conclusively that weak interactions violate the p-symmetry or, as the analogy goes, some reactions did not occur as often as their mirror image. Overall, the symmetry of a quantum mechanical system can be restored if another symmetry S can be found such that the combined symmetry PS remains unbroken. This rather subtle point about the structure of Hilbert space was realized shortly after the discovery of p-violation, and it was proposed that charge conjugation was the desired symmetry to restore order. Simply speaking, charge conjugation is a symmetry between particles and antiparticles, and so CP symmetry was proposed in 1957 by Lev Landau as the true symmetry between matter and antimatter. In other words, a process in which all particles are exchanged with their antiparticles was assumed to be equivalent to the mirror image of the original process. Topic: <coughs> CP violation in the standard model. Direct CP violation is allowed in the standard model if a complex phase appears in the CKM matrix describing quark mixing, or the PMNS matrix describing neutrino mixing. A necessary condition for the appearance of the complex phase is the presence of at least three generations of quarks. If fewer generations are present, the complex phase parameter can be absorbed into redefinitions of the quark fields. A popular rephasing invariant whose vanishing signals absence of CP violation and occurs in most CP violating amplitudes is the Jarlskog invariant. J equals C 12 C 13 2 C 23 S 12 S 13 S 23 sin delta approximately equals 3 10 minus 5 display style j equals c underscore 12 c underscore 13 caret 2 c underscore 23 s underscore 12 s underscore 13 s underscore 23 sin delta approximately 3 to 10 caret minus 5 
The reason why such a complex phase causes CP violation is not immediately obvious, but can be seen as follows. Consider any given particles or sets of particles a display style a and b display style b and their antiparticles a display style bar a and b display style bar b now consider the processes a b display style a right arrow b and the corresponding antiparticle process a b display style bar a right arrow bar b and denote their amplitudes m display style m and m display style bar m respectively before cp violation these terms must be the same complex number we can separate the magnitude and phase by writing m equals m e i theta display style m equals m e caret i theta if a phase term is introduced from eg the ckm matrix denote it e i phi display style e caret i phi note that m display style bar m contains the conjugate matrix to m display style m so it picks up a phase term e minus i phi display style e caret i phi now the formula becomes m equals m e i theta e i phi display style m equals m e caret i theta e caret i phi m equals m e i theta e minus i phi display style bar m equals m e caret i theta e caret i phi physically measurable reaction rates are proportional to m 2 display style m caret 2 thus so far nothing is different however consider that there are two different routes a 1 b display style a overset 1 long right arrow b and a 2 b display style a overset 2 long right arrow b or equivalently two unrelated intermediate states a 1 b display style a right arrow 1 right arrow b and a 2 b display style a right arrow 2 right arrow b now we have m equals m 1 e i theta 1 e i phi 1 plus m 2 e i theta 2 e i phi 2 Display style m equals m underscore one e caret i theta underscore one e caret i phi underscore one plus m underscore two e caret i theta underscore two e caret i phi underscore two m equals m one e i theta one e minus i phi one plus m 2 e i theta 2 e minus i phi 2 Display style bar m equals m underscore one e caret i theta underscore one e caret i phi underscore one plus m underscore two e caret i theta underscore two e caret i phi underscore two. Some further calculation gives 
m 2 minus m 2 equals minus 4 m 1 m 2 sin theta 1 minus theta 2 sin phi 1 minus phi 2 Display style m caret two bar m caret two equals minus four m underscore one m underscore two sin theta underscore one theta underscore two sin phi underscore one phi underscore two. Thus, we see that a complex phase gives rise to processes that proceed at different rates for particles and antiparticles, and CP is violated. From the theoretical end, the CKM matrix is defined as VCKM equals UUUD, where UU and UD are unitary transformation matrices which diagonalize the fermion mass matrices mu and md, respectively. Thus, there are two necessary conditions for getting a complex CKM matrix. At least one of UU and UD is complex, or the CKM matrix will be purely real. Even both of them are complex, UU and UD mustn't be the same, i.e., UU does not equal UD, or CKM matrix will be an identity matrix which is also purely real. <laughs> Experimental status <laughs> Indirect CP violation In 1964, James Cronin, Val Fitch and co-workers provided clear evidence from Count Decay that CP symmetry could be broken. This work won them the 1980 Nobel Prize. This discovery showed that weak interactions violate not only the charge conjugation symmetry C between particles and antiparticles and the P or parity, but also their combination. The discovery shocked particle physics and opened the door to questions still at the core of particle physics and of cosmology today. The lack of an exact CP symmetry, but also the fact that it is so nearly a symmetry, created a great puzzle. Only a weaker version of the symmetry could be preserved by physical phenomena, which was CPT symmetry. Besides C and P, there is a third operation, time reversal T, which corresponds to reversal of motion. Invariance under time reversal implies that whenever a motion is allowed by the laws of physics, the reversed motion is also an allowed one and occurs at the same rate forwards and backwards. The combination of CPT is thought to constitute an exact symmetry of all types of fundamental interactions. Because of the CPT symmetry, a violation of the CP symmetry is equivalent to a violation of the T symmetry. CP violation implied nonconservation of T, provided that the long-held CPT theorem was valid. In this theorem, regarded as one of the basic principles of quantum field theory, charge conjugation, parity, and time reversal are applied together. <laughs> <laughs> Direct CP violation The kind of CP violation discovered in 1964 was linked to the fact that neutral kaons can transform into their antiparticles in which each quark is replaced with the other's antiquark and vice versa, but such transformation does not occur with exactly the same probability in both directions, this is called indirect CP violation. Despite many searches, no other manifestation of CP violation was discovered until the 1990s, when the NA31 experiment at CERN suggested evidence for CP violation in the decay process of the very same neutral kaons direct CP violation. The observation was somewhat controversial, and final proof for it came in 1999 from the KTEV experiment at Fermilab and the NA48 experiment at CERN. In 2001, a new generation of experiments, including the Babar experiment at the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center and the Bell experiment at the High Energy Accelerator Research Organization in Japan, observed direct CP violation in a different system, namely in decays of the B mesons. A large number of CP violation processes in B meson decays have now been discovered. Before these B factory experiments, there was a logical possibility that all CP violation was confined to Kaun physics. 
However, this raised the question of why CP violation did not extend to the strong force, and furthermore, why this was not predicted by the unextended standard model, despite the model's accuracy for normal phenomena. In 2011, a hint of CP violation in decays of neutral D mesons was reported by the LHCB experiment at CERN using 0.6 FB-1 of RUN1 data. However, the same measurement using the full 3.0 FB-1 run 1 sample was consistent with CP symmetry. In 2013, LHCB announced discovery of CP violation in strange B meson decays. Topic: <laughs> Strong CP problem. There is no experimentally known violation of the CP symmetry in quantum chromodynamics. As there is no known reason for it to be conserved in QCD specifically, this is a fine-tuning problem known as the strong CP problem. QCD does not violate the CP symmetry as easily as the electroweak theory, unlike the electroweak theory in which the gauge fields couple to chiral currents constructed from the fermionic fields, the gluons couple to vector currents. Experiments do not indicate any CP violation in the QCD sector. For example, a generic CP violation in the strongly interacting sector would create the electric dipole moment of the neutron which would be comparable to 10-18 EM while the experimental upper bound is roughly one trillionth that size. This is a problem because at the end, there are natural terms in the QCD Lagrangian that are able to break the CP symmetry. L equals minus 1 4 F mu nu f mu nu minus n f g 2 theta 32 pi 2 f mu nu f tilde mu nu plus psi I gamma mu d mu minus m e i theta gamma five psi Display style math call L equals FRAC one four F underscore mu nu F carrot mu nu FRAC and underscore F G carrot two theta thirty two pi carrot two F underscore mu nu tilde F carrot mu nu plus bar psi I gamma carrot mu D underscore mu me carrot I theta gamma underscore five psi for a non-zero choice of the theta angle and the chiral phase of the quark mass theta one expects the CP symmetry to be violated. One usually assumes that the chiral quark mass phase can be converted to a contribution to the total effective theta tilde display style script style tilde theta angle but it remains to be explained why this angle is extremely small instead of being of order 1 the particular value of the theta angle that must be very close to 0 in this case is an example of a fine tuning problem in physics and is typically solved by physics beyond the standard model there are several proposed solutions to solve the strong cp problem the most well known is pecky quinn theory involving new scalar particles called axions a newer, more radical approach not requiring the axion is a theory involving two time dimensions first proposed in 1998 by Bars, Delitamin, and Andreev. <laughs> CP violation and the matter-antimatter imbalance The universe is made chiefly of matter, rather than consisting of equal parts of matter and antimatter as might be expected. It can be demonstrated that, to create an imbalance in matter and antimatter from an initial condition of balance, the Sakharov conditions must be satisfied, one of which is the existence of CP violation during the extreme conditions of the first seconds after the Big Bang. Explanations which do not involve CP violation are less plausible, since they rely on the assumption that the matter antimatter imbalance was present at the beginning, or on other admittedly exotic assumptions. The Big Bang should have produced equal amounts of matter and antimatter if CP symmetry was preserved, as such, there should have been total cancellation of both 
Protons should have cancelled with antiprotons, electrons with positrons, neutrons with antineutrons, and so on. This would have resulted in a sea of radiation in the universe with no matter. Since this is not the case, after the Big Bang, physical laws must have acted differently for matter and antimatter, i.e. violating CP symmetry. The standard model contains at least three sources of CP violation. The first of these, involving the Kabibo-Kobayashi-Maskawa matrix in the quark sector, has been observed experimentally and can only account for a small portion of the CP violation required to explain the matter-antimatter asymmetry. The strong interaction should also violate CP, in principle, but the failure to observe the electric dipole moment of the neutron in experiments suggests that any CP violation in the strong sector is also too small to account for the necessary CP violation in the early universe. The third source of CP violation is the Pontecorvo Maki Nakagawa Sakata matrix in the lepton sector. The current long baseline neutrino oscillation experiments, T2K and no nu A, may be able to find evidence of CP violation over a small fraction of possible values of the CP violating Dirac phase while the proposed next generation experiments, Hyper Kamiokande and Dune, will be sensitive enough to definitively observe CP violation over a relatively large fraction of possible values of the Dirac phase. Further into the future, a neutrino factory could be sensitive to nearly all possible values of the CP violating Dirac phase. If neutrinos are Majorana fermions, the PMNS matrix could have two additional CP violating Majorana phases, leading to a fourth source of CP violation within the standard model. The experimental evidence for Majorana neutrinos would be the observation of neutrinoless double beta decay. The best limits come from the Goethe experiment. CP violation in the lepton sector generates a matter-antimatter asymmetry through a process called leptogenesis. This could become the preferred explanation in the standard model for the matter-antimatter asymmetry of the universe once CP violation is experimentally confirmed in the lepton sector. If CP violation in the lepton sector is experimentally determined to be too small to account for matter-antimatter asymmetry, some new physics beyond the standard model would be required to explain additional sources of CP violation. Adding new particles and or interactions to the standard model generally introduces new sources of CP violation since CP is not a symmetry of nature. Sakharov proposed a way to restore CP symmetry using T-symmetry, extending spacetime before the Big Bang. He described complete CPT reflections of events on each side of what he called the initial singularity. Because of this, phenomena with an opposite arrow of time at t. The anomalous excess of matter over antimatter after the Big Bang in the orthochronous or positive sector, becomes an excess of antimatter before the Big Bang antichronous or negative sector as both charge conjugation, parity and arrow of time are reversed due to CPT reflections of all phenomena occurring over the initial singularity. We can visualize that neutral spinless maximons or photons are produced at t one through the other at the instant t equals zero when the density is infinite, and decay with an excess of quarks when t greater than zero, realizing total CPT symmetry of the universe. All the phenomena at t zero equals Topic. See also equals B factory CPT symmetry BTEV experiment Kabibo Kobayashi Maskawa Matrix, LHCB, Penguin Diagram, Neutral Particle Oscillation, Electron Electric Dipole Moment